What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Look, guys, Brother Bilal is on, is on a tear when it comes to Will and Jada Smith. Am I right, guys, or what? Look, all I can say is this. Look, Will, pay the man off. <laughs> pay the man off, and all this will go away. Am I right, guys, or what? We're going to get into it. Brother Bilal is on a tear when it comes to these Smiths, and I am here for all the smoke. Let's get into it. Let's go. Will knew what was going on, and, like, Jada runs Will, period. Because there's nothing that two friends of 38 years, a little small business deal, right, that might be, what, 100 and something thousand, 190,000, whatever that amount is, right? It's... Two friends can work that out. But when you got your narcissist wife and sociopath wife saying, oh, I'm going to crush him. I'm going to kill him. This is this is criminal. Listen, so this is what happened. So, um, of course, Charlie Mack, the rat hits me and say, hey, Jada wants and will wants to talk to you. Now, we're going through all this with the mediation, the lawyers, everything. Okay. Right. This is before the interviews. Yeah. Right, this is bef way before the interviews. Right. OK. So I'm I'm at the position like, OK, so this is how I have to talk to Will. I got to get with Charlie Mack, the rat. He's going to have a special phone. Boom. I get with him. He's going to call Will and Jada. They're going to be on the phone. I'm going to have a conversation. So they so Jada was like, look. They offer me $10,000. That doesn't even cover the cost of the boxes. This is what Jada, this is Jada offering me, right? Um, and this was after the mediation. This is what they offered me. And they started off with 5,000 in the mediation. Then it went to 10 and I left the mediation, right? I'm like, y'all don't, y'all, I'm not even trying to do business. I brought all these boxes to the meet. I, I showed everything that I needed to show that I did on my end far as our contract was concerned. And there's emails supporting everything. So she said, you're gonna take that $10,000. So I'm like, no, I'm not gonna take the $10,000. Then she says, well, I'm gonna fucking crush you if you don't take the money because if you don't take this money, now you could sue. Why would you marry a woman like this? Am I right, guys, what? This woman here is completely from the streets. Will had no idea what he was marrying when he met this chick. Am I right, guys, or what? This is crazy. This is as masculine as it gets. For real, hit me up in the comments. Let's go. Now, if I would have took the money at the mediation, it puts me in a position where I can't sue them. So then she was like, uh, I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know who you think you fucking with, but I kill you. This is Jada on the phone. I said, Will, are you going to allow Jada to speak to me this way? He said, you heard what my wife said. That's when I know me and Will weren't friends. That, and he had already been acting shady because of Jada, but I just kept everything joke. Like, I know what he's going through. I know what he's going through. So right then and then, when this lady is crushing my business, right, when this lady is making me work for free and doing all these things to me, you're supposed to be my friend for 38 years and you can't even say jada just let him be i wouldn't took no money just leave me alone right well i ain't gotta never talk to you but again yeah, she got you tied up in court with she right 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 mediation right, right. Okay. so it's just like you know at the end of the day i, I i'll take the five thousand will you ain't gotta never talk to me again jada you ain't never gotta talk to me again you was willing to never talk to will yes again? because she had people don't understand it's just like i'm sweating like she controls this man jada controls will in a way that you okay look there's nothing worse than being around a man that's controlled by a witch am i right guys or what i've seen this growing up i've seen it so much seriously let's go let's go let me let me just take a beat so there's a viral video that's going around and, and this is no shot at will okay there's a viral video going around with a, a gentleman rubbing uh massaging will with his thing his his junk on his back right yeah and will is that is, the, the uh, only a man knows what a man needs th that, that that video video okay what kind of a man has that's a man has. hey the pressure change, do y'all. 
Only a man knows what a man needs. <laughs> so the 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 guy who's giving Will the massage is Jada Pinkett's brother. His name is Caleb. Okay. Right? So, and of course, you look at that video and, and, and it almost seems sexual. It doesn't seem like just a regular massage, okay. right? So, how do I say this? Um, Caleb's going through a divorce right now, mm -hmm. right? And bottom line is, Caleb and Will are fucking. And this is Jada's brother, her blood brother. No way! <laughs> It's too much heat. I'm sorry. I'm, no, no. <laughs> Pay the man off. Am I right, guys? Pay the man off. <laughs> no. Don't say that. Don't say that, Brother Bilal. Do not say that. Who's massaging on Will, taking these tricks oh, with Will. Man. She, she, every real dude that Will had around him has been removed and replace with Jada's family and friends, right? So you, will of old is not the will of now. So I'm. it's like, it, this don't even need for us to be friends. But now, then on the other side, they were all together throwing Thanksgiving. Now I'm gonna tell you the power of this internet with over a billion impressions. My understanding that Will is now thinking about coming out as bisexual. That them knowing all the information that I have, Will is thinking about becoming, uh, making a statement of him being bisexual. How'd you find that out? Because there are people around that hate Jada. There are people, there are so many people in the circle that hate, the, the way she treats people is like trash. So when you always hear there's a source, you always hear from a lot of big news. Those are the sources. Those are the people that's around. That's like, Yo, this chick is crazy. And I hope Will does come out as bi. I hope Will admits to beating Jada, right? And seek forgiveness for that because there's it's no reason to beat her, right? I don't condone that. You sound like uh, you want to beat her, though. No, <laughs> I, 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 I want I mean, it's not funny. Domestic violence yeah, is not funny. It, yeah, but the it's, way it's, it's not it. funny. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's nothing funny about it. But this is how, this is where victory comes. Like, this is where my victory comes because... Sometimes words hurt more than fists. So do you feel like if Will comes out, Jada won't have this power over him anymore? She'll have a little bit of power. But see, here's the thing. And this is why I don't talk about my book much. The things that happen with them too in Scientology keeps them bonded because we got to look at sexual assaults and a bunch of other things that happen. Sexual assault. Yeah. So, so basically if you look at and see, I don't really want to get into this because now I'm going to have another enemy with the church of Scientology. Yeah. I'm going to have somebody else trying to kill me. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I, I will say, just look at Danny Masterson's trial and how he was raping women inside of Scientology and doing just all kind of lewd and lascivious acts on on women but inside the church of scientology you are not allowed to report to the police everything has to happen internally right so i don't want to get too deep into it but if you just look at the celebrities who are, who are in scientology if if you commit a crime then everything the judge is inward is not outward so you know you're not supposed to report to the police everything you're supposed to report to the hierarchs and scientology now look that sounds a little cultish to me. Am I right, guys, or what? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But it just sounds a little bitty cultish. It just sounds a little bit cultish. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Let's keep it popping. Let's go. And Will and Jada were in Scientology for a number of years and opened the school, right? That's the book. That's, that's the book. And I'm telling you, you're going to need Kleenex and a puke bucket when you read the book oh. about their acts in Scientology. Oh. I'm going to leave that there. Oh, and everybody knows Tom Cruise is in that. He's been in that for years. This is crazy. Look, I've heard a, a lot of crazy things about that religion. For real. 
man, let me just keep it rolling. Let me keep it rolling. I don't want to say too much. Let's go. So Will would just <sighs> this information. Like, is it the circle that's talking, or is it Will talking directly to you? Is it Jada talking to you? Is it the kids talking to you? Like, this is a lot of information. It's like, I lot. have people around me, and I, Lord knows I don't do any of this kind of stuff. Right. But I, I don't talk to people, and it's not because I don't trust people. It's I don't have shit going on. So it's right. kind of like. 38 years, like, this is this man's whole life and this woman's damn near whole marriage. And it seems like you have it, not Jada, but you have it in the palm of your hands. Like, you. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, 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 we got we got to look at this, too. Man, fame will change you. I'm sorry. Fame and money will change you. If you're an idiot as a broke guy, you're going to be a rich idiot it's just how it is if you a good guy and you broke and you get rich there's a high probability that you're going to be a pretty awesome guy if you're rich it is what it is am i right guys what huh? Seriously. this is getting weird this is getting but fame corrupts people i'm serious let's go so when she was dealing with mark so there were two separations between will and jada there were two the time she was dealing with mark and this is from jada's not from me Jada and Will were separated five years around that stuff with Mark Anthony, mm -hmm. her, her fucking Mark Anthony, right? Then this recent re revelation that they have been separated for almost seven years. So that's 12 years. This is what I want people to see. So Jada and Will have been separated in their marriage 12 years. Are you trying to tell me that Will has been celibate during these stages? Okay. So, okay. There was a little girl I used to see with him on all his trips. Okay. And then there was a guy with, like, gray dreads. Okay. What happened on that balcony? You said we could talk about that. See, see what I don't want to see. Here's my thing, Tasha. What I don't want to do is make this a will bashing, right? Because. That's not bashing. I just want to know what the hell happened on that balcony. So, so uh, th this is what I'll say to you. I'm going to play a video today. Okay. Um. Where Will is grabbing another man's penis. Oh no! <laughs> this is too much, guys. This is too much. This is too much. I'm sorry. This is too much, man. Independence Day, Will Smith. No, man. No, 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 no. Let's go. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell for your boy. Let's go. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, playing with his nipple. And oh. trying to put his finger up his butt, right? Oh. I'm playing the video because of Jada saying she made another statement to TMZ that, oh, w Will doesn't like men or any of that. Well, why is he out here grabbing men penises? This is what, see, see, all this is now, my war is with Jada now. W Will is helpless to the side. Will is going to do whatever Jada says to do. So my fight is with Jada because I, I don't see if you really love this woman. Right. And she really loves you. Why are you not going to break your celebrity and say, come out like, Will, you and I need to talk. But you send your husband. I mean, your wife, Jada, to do all the talking. You said husband. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the separated husband. So it's like it's 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 sad because I don't want to bash Will, but Will, what what you let Jada do to me is unforgivable as a friend. This is so. What if he called you today and was like, "Yo, I want to fix this." Okay, would you do it? Because you just said it was unforgivable. So. so I can I can forgive, but it's still unforgivable. Like how 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 do so you still going full fledged with the book? Every I'm going full fledged with everything because like if you leave Jada, you mom you because I know you're gonna be back to the morals and principles that you stood on when you leave, and I'm gonna help you leave Jada because the stuff that I'm gonna put out you're gonna because now you don't she doesn't have nothing to hold over you will see that's the thing right now it's like oh. I, I know what I did here. I know what I did here. So Jada is playing that. Then even if he wanted to leave, there's a half billion dollars in limbo, right? It's like, okay, well, when is the opportune time to leave, right? There's no pre, it's, 
it, it's complicated. When you when you got this type of money and power involved, it's complicated. The day Will leaves Jada, we're back best friends. Well, she said during her recent interview with Drew Barrymore, and she looked mm. like a warlock. She had on all- This true. It, this is so true. Jada is looking worse. I don't understand. Jada's looking bad. It's like she's lost like 80 pounds. It's wow. It, it's crazy. I don't know what's going on. But you know what? I, actually, I do. I know what's going on. This is a spiritual warfare, and she's been hit spiritually. Am I right? Guys, what? Huh? Yeah. She's been hit spiritually. She looks bad. I don't get it. Let's go. All that black and her head looked like a skull. Oh, it's, her neck is like super skinny. Narr She's looking real bad. It was just, it was real demonic. It yep. Was, it, it wasn't given soft Jada. Yep. Um, she said that her and Will are staying together forever. She said that. Okay. So let me get back to Will again. Just one thing about Will. And I wouldn't be surprised if Jada has put witchcraft all over this guy. Am I right, guys, or what, huh? She's going to hell. She's going to hell. She's going to hell. Let's get it. And this is another reason I can't forget him. This is a really lengthy story, so give me a second. Go ahead. So another business deal. So ironically, on Jada's birthday, they had a skating party at the house. Will requested that I come. Me and Will had a two-hour conversation. Um, at the time, I was dealing with a company called Zenny Optical. They're like one of the world's biggest online glasses retailers to the point they do about maybe $400 million a year mm. just selling glasses online. This is one of my clients, just to give some type of insight. So these people at Zenny Optical said, your reach to reach so many celebrities and influences are amazing. Let us create a eyewear line around be opulent right now okay. this is this massive company so i say okay let's do it now i make a, a, a well as um i do a lot of gemstone jewelry high end so like if you go to my website you'll see amazing gemstone jewelry on there that's is that buy. something that yeah like the, like like this one is because i was black, gonna say black. that's real nice yeah, no yeah. that's what i'm saying it's like you know, you were talking about maybe a hundred thousand dollars. Like we're talking about diamonds with egg drops in them, all um, all high quality black diamonds. I do then also I do watches with Arabic numbers on them called Abdul Salam. This one doesn't have the Ar Arabic numbers on it, but you see it's my name on it, Abdul Salam. Okay. Right. So this is just stuff that I do just out of black genius, right? So they said we if you can give the glasses away with the jewelry that you sell to the celebrities, this would be amazing. So, all right, we enter into a deal. We're working on that deal. Um, Will was like, hey, what are you working on? I said, hey, I'm working with this company, Zenny Optical. We're about to do this big deal. I said, Will, like, I'm going to be a millionaire. Like, this is what we're talking about. And I'm, mm. and I'm like, I need you to help me like what to do with the money because of course in our life we've made a million dollars but when you have a million dollars that you saved you need advice on how to mm -hmm. work that million dollars so he was like i'll do more than that he said i'm gonna post the glasses for you i said well stop fucking around and i said it like that he said no i got you b i i want to see you blow up i i, I want to see you be that millionaire so i said well, I'm about to call the company and let them know that mm -hmm. you said that you would post. So he said, OK. Um, then I said, let me just wait. He invited me to his birthday a few like almost like a week later. Is that the skating park? Um, no, this okay. was a, so Jada and Will birthday are very close. OK, so he, he had a birthday party at the movie theater in Calabasas and we watched King Richard. Okay. Right. So I see him at the, his birthday party and got pictures, everything. So he says, B, when are you going to get me the glasses? Yeah, yeah. I was like, when, when are you going to get me the glasses? Right. I was like, oh, Will is real about this. He said, send everything to phone and I'll take a picture and I'll post it. Just tell me what the tag. OK, so I get in touch with phone, who's Jada's friend for 40 years. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm like, damn, why didn't he put me with this person? But once again, he told me to get with Fawn. 
So I sent everything. So phone, we got emails, text messages, all that kind of stuff, which I'm sending her the glasses for her to pick out for Will. So Will, um, so she picks out a number of glasses for Will. I send them to Miami because Will is in Miami finishing the book, right? And I got the receipt from the FedEx with her name on it, the hotel that they were staying at in, in Miami, everything. So it gets there. I asked her, did she receive the package? She told me yes. Then I asked her, did you give Will the glasses? She said no. I said, well, Fawn, um, Will said he wanted the glasses. Are you going to give them to him? Guess who cop block that whole situation? Jada Pinkett Smith. Make it make sense. You already know. Because <laughs> she want that control. This is just this is just a no brainer. This is a no brainer. Let's go. She said, no, Jada told me don't give them to him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. This is a no brainer. You guys have never dealt with toxic when it comes to a woman. This is it. This is it. This is it. Ta target number one right here. Let's go. So, of course, I already told this company that Will is going to post, mm -hmm. right? <sighs> okay. So, that was one thing. So, Will, you know I'm out there with this company now, right? Now, Will is dark. He He's not saying anything. Mm -hmm. So, that's another thing that's unforgivable, right? Like, why would you do that to me and put me... In that position, Will, because J because Jada says no. Like, are you a man? Like, we're talking as men. If me and you talking as men, then our word is our bond. And in Islam, that's something that we say. Our word is our bond. So if I say, hey, Tasha, I'm going to come back and do this second interview. I'm not going to do another interview until I do this interview with you. If I give you my word, that's my word and my bond. And that means something. Mm -hmm. But when you let an emotional witch control you this is how it ends up am i right guys huh? yes sir nothing worse than a type th th than this type of man right here this type of man will take your life over a witch am i right guys or what no it's not good it's not a good look will it's not a good look will smith at all let's go like subscribe hit the notification bell let's go so let's go on with the company. So I'm getting all these other celebrities to come to the company. Right. And we I told you about Ken Hertz, who's Will's lawyer, who's okay. a who, who's a racist, who hates Muslims and doesn't allow Will to, to help our people. Like that was my thing, like my argument with with uh, Ken Hertz when we called me on the phone. And I, I told him, listen, man, you know, our, our people are being persecuted. Right. And you having the influence over Will, you don't do nothing about Black Lives Matter. Y'all don't allow Will to put other black people into movies. Right. To to give that next generation that spark, because that's what we need. That's why we're feeling because the baton is not being passed. So mm -hmm. this is something greater than Jada just hating. It's like you're stopping other black people from becoming millionaires. Right. You're stopping other people from being that next Will Smith. There needs to be a next Will Smith. Mm -hmm. Right. And that way that happens is that someone is groomed. Someone is saying, hey, brother, we see talent in you. Let's do that. Right. And all these social injustices that we see, these people that control Will, they're not trying to help us. They're not trying to say, hey, Will, we we need to really jump on this police brutality. Yo, we need to really drop, uh, jump on to, to yeah, what's his, happening. His brand is very safe. Well, we can't. We're living in a time where we can't be safe. Yeah, he doesn't we're, really get involved in any of. Yeah, but we need to because okay. because the same people that help you get there need your help. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And me and Will have talked about this as well too. Period. See, we got to look at where we are as a community and, and, and I'm gonna get back into the other stuff, but just really quick. Cause I, I don't want people to think I'm some reverend and preaching, but even myself, no matter what I do, I got to help other brothers and sisters with something. There's something that I have to do to pass the baton to somebody else or to help somebody else come up that we see that's deserving of that opportunity. 
and Jada is an, and Jada and people like Ken Hurts, Will's lawyer, they're not allowing that. And Will's lawyer, and like I said, he's a racist. Like we talking about, oh yeah, I know you Muslim. No, I'm a Muslim. Like I check these dudes. I'm checking them. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, these people will try to disrespect you. They don't like our people. The only thing they like about Will is the money. Period. Period. If Will, if, if Will fell off the day of tomorrow and unbankable, guess what? They're going. But that's that's what you call making a deal with the nanny goat. Am I right, guys? Or what? And what we're looking at right now is Will paying back that deal. Am I right, guys, or what? <laughs> I'm sorry. When you get this, when you get that high up in, into the into the game, when you get that high up into the entertainment industry, I don't care what genre. When you get that high up, you're paying the piper. Nobody escapes clean. Am I right, guys, or what? You don't. I know this. I'm a musician. I know. I know. Let's go. They're not your friends. So we got to build wealth, wealth within our community because all these things that you see me do, making jewelry, the, the product placement, the watches, all this stuff, I'm doing for self. This is what I was taught. We got to do for self. So now I'm back to Zenny, um, Zenny and talking about racist. I feel that Zenny Optical are racist because what we find out is we're supposed to, I curated all these gift boxes, right? Um, for Zenny, we did a big launch. I got major celebrities. I'm talking about Julius Irvin. I'm talking about Ken Griffey Jr. I mean, just a lot of big celebrities, icons mm -hmm. that were supporting me with the glasses. And they told me, well, we're not going to do your line congruent to the website after you made that promise, meaning that well, you can have the line, but we're not going to sell it on our website. So you mean I got all these celebrities to support me, to post and all this stuff. And you're telling me I did that in vain. Right. So I said, OK, here's another thing. That same can hurt. So I'm going through it with any optical now. Right. Ken Hurts allegedly calls Zenny and says, hey, I represent Will, Kiki Palmer, a bunch of other people. Mm -hmm. We're like to do business with you guys. But we hear you got this guy named Brother Bilal that, you know, y'all have some type of deal with. And if he's doing business with y'all, we don't want to do business with y'all. So Zenny cancels my contract. And Kiki Palmer does a deal with Zenny Optical and Will's lawyer, Ken Hertz, is the lawyer who did the deal. If you look at Kiki Palmer line on Zenny Optical, it's all my stuff, but switch to hers. This is this is this is how they blackball you. And right now I'm in a big lawsuit with Zenny Optical. Right. Okay. And and you can post the the uh, the 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 numbers of the case so people can look in. We're about to su uh, subpoena about 30 celebrities to come in. And to court about this, this is going to be crazy, all because Will's lawyer and Jada want to try to go behind my back and just start slicing the way that I make money, going to my clients and slicing me out. So this I mean, it's going to be groundbreaking was about to happen. And and this is going to happen in the legal system. So when these celebrities get these subpoenas like, oh, why are we call Jada and call Ken Hertz? Wow. Is this crazy or what, man? Yeah. Crazy or what? Guys, this is wild. This is wild. This is wild. Give yourselves another round of applause for coming in front of the episode. This is flaming and this is fire. I'm sorry. This is fire, fire, fire. And I am here for all the smoke. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell for your boy. This has been an awesome episode. I will be dropping this one here very soon. Don't forget, hit me up in the comments. I will hit you back. All right? We out of here. Peace.